Good afternoon. A Highland High School mom has seen enough. She says when her daughter goes to band practice every morning, their practice field is covered in hypodermic needles. Now she's taking matters into her own hands. News 13's Stephanie Chavez is live at Highland High School with a look. Kim Teresa Cordova says she cleaned up at least two dozen needles this morning from the practice lot right behind me. There's just a lot of drugs around here. Miguel Flores works near Highland High School. He says every day he cleans up needles left behind by drug users. How many needles are you picking up every day? At least 10. He's not the only one. One mom says the problem is spilling onto the high school campus. There's been a lot of used needles laying around a field where the band practice. Teresa Cordova, a Highland High School band mom, says she's been cleaning up needles from Highland's practice field for a while. It's very upsetting because I don't just worry about my own child. I worry about all the kids. This morning, Cordova says she picked up at least 24 needles while the band was practicing at the field near Zuni and San Mateo. Ten of them had caps on them and the rest were uncapped. Cordova says she's called APS again and again to report the issue. I get the run around to call around, email, call, leave messages, and it just goes nowhere. An APS spokesperson tells News 13 this has been an issue in the past, but they recently put fences around the fields to try to keep this from happening. But Cordova says the fences are not keeping the homeless and drug users out, and more needs to be done. Maybe security or APD, it's just, it's getting to be ridiculous to where these kids are not feeling like they're safe at school. Now, APS says when they receive complaints about needles being found on campus, they respond immediately by sending a crew out. They say they had no idea this was still an issue here at Highland, but they plan to monitor it to make sure the kids are staying safe. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Now, APS says they did conduct an inspection of the campus this afternoon after we called them. They say they did not find any 